Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the curtain shutter testing of a single lens reflex camera. I'm going to use the Ryko 35mm camera with its vertical uh, curtain to demonstrate how uh, easy it is to test a curtain shutter with the external uh, module. Um, first thing you need to do with a camera like this is to get the lens out of the way. It's, e it's much easier to test a single lens reflex without the lens because you can put the light source right into the opening. The next thing I do is typically on a camera like this you can take the actual back off. You open it up and there's a little a little selector here and you can take the back off the camera. You don't have to do that. If the camera back does not come off you can still leave it on but it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, place the sensor. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the sensor on top of that opening with the with the uh, with the detector openings facing the film plane and the, the little rubber pieces on here are used to help guide it into position the next thing you need to do is to clamp the sensor down into place and I use some small rubber bands to hold it in place it doesn't take much to keep it from sliding around those uh, rubber feet on the uh, sensor do a pretty good job of keeping the uh, the sensor in place A lot of times you can use the uh, hot shoe mount at the top to help keep the uh, rubber bands in place. If they cross the, uh, the opening here, it's really not a big deal. The other thing you got to do is to select the type of sensor uh, you're going to be using, um, whether it's vertical or horizontal. In this case, I would move the slide switch towards the vertical. Now you're ready to begin testing. The next step involves aligning the light source and the sensor module within the film plane. So the first thing you need to do is to set the camera into its B mode so that you can hold the shutter open. This particular one has a dial and you can see if it'll focus properly that it's now set to the B setting. Wind the camera press the shutter and you'll be able to look inside the film opening and see if the module is centered properly in that opening. The sensor at the bottom, the two on the sides, and the one at the top. If they're centered properly, all's good. If not, shift the module slightly until you see all four sensors in that opening. The next step involves getting the light source and the sensor lined up through the lens opening. To do this, you'll first want to set the camera again into its B mode and lock it in place. To do this, I typically use a shutter release cable plugged into the unit, into the camera, wind the camera, set the shutter, and lock it in place. That way you can do this alignment without having to hold the shutter button down. Now turn the test set on, plug a, the sensor module into the test set, select the curtain t shutter test option, and now you'll see two bar graphs which are saying that it's waiting to set the alignment of the light s source to the sensors. To do this, you want to center the light source within the film opening and monitor the two bar graphs that are uh, displaying the light level of each sensor. You can see as I move it up and down within that film opening the two bar graphs move up and down. What your goal is is to try to get them at about an equal level. And I found one of the easiest ways to do that is to use a deck of cards underneath the light source to set it to the right level while you look at the uh, the bar graphs um, to get it to the right height. You can either add or subtract cards to get it to the right height. I've now used a rubber band to hold the light source to the deck of cards and if you look I've got a pretty strong signal level and both of the uh, signals are about equivalent now so I'm ready to test. So first thing I'll do is shut the shutter and now take the release off set the shutter speed to what I'd like to test. In this case I'm going to set it to 1 1 25th. Press the start test button on the uh, test set. It'll say it's waiting for trigger. So at this point it's a matter of just pressing the shutter and 
winding it and doing multiple tests. When you're all done, you'll see that all of the tests are uh, recorded, the previous 16 tests. And at the bottom, there's an indication of your curtain speeds. Curtain uh, speed 1, curtain speed 2, which one is greater and by what percentage they're greater. Um, the waveform shows the two sensors received signal. The overlap shows uh, how much um, each curtain, how long each curtain was open and for how long. If you press the summary button, you can then see how uh, the, the last tests went, the average speed, the minimum, and the maximum speeds recorded. If you want to test another shutter speed, you can go back to your menu here and press the retest button, at which time it's waiting for trigger. So that's how simple it is to test the uh, curtain shutter of, a, uh, of an SLR like this, a 35mm SLR. Um, thanks for watching.